Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading and this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take the parts that do resonate. If it does not, leave the parts that do not resonate as those may be meant for someone else. <coughs> All right, what you may be struggling with. So we're going to leave it like that because it came out that way, but I have the deck is totally turned upside down, so I don't want to do the whole reading upside down. But because that one came out, I'm going to um, leave it that way. All right, so what you may be struggling with is the reversal of the judgment card. So you're not hearing something. Ten of Swords and the star. What do you need to look at? Love it, the hermit. Queen of Wands, Four of Cups. Future Energies, the Empress, the Death card. Wow, look at that. That's three major arcanas coming in for the energies that are coming in for you. We have the Empress, the Death card, and the Emperor. So we have um, Scorpio and we have Aries here. <clears throat> We've got Virgo here. We've got Aquarius here. There's a lot of major cards here, so this is a strong message for someone, right? Because we have the Judgment, we have the Star, we have the Hermit, we have the Empress, the Death card, and the Emperor. All right. Energies that are surrounding you. We have the two of wands, and that is taking actions to make a choice. Like you're not ready to step into making a choice, but that you're deciding what to do. All right, so what you may be struggling with is I feel that something happened, but you're not seeing the reason why that it happened. And so you're struggling with that and that you've lost hope, right? That you've lost your guidance, you've lost your direction, that something that has happened, and I feel like, I almost feel like you might be overthinking the situation. Um, and I feel like you also... I also feel that you're very run down, that you're very tired, that emotionally, that mentally, mentally you're, you're exhausted. You're exhausted mentally. But I feel like there was something that was presented to you, but you didn't get the reason why, like it didn't make sense to you. <clears throat> what do you need to look at? We have the hermit which I love this card because he's shining the light on the snake and seeing that the, there was an obstacle here, right? That there was an obstacle in your way and now you're ready to, I feel like you're ready to fight for something and you're, you're ready to get back into the game. You're ready to look at opportunities. You're ready to look. Here I feel you're almost frozen in time. Like these are all blue. So I feel that's definitely a sign here is, this is all very blue, it's very calm, it's almost like you're in this blue energy, that you're feeling stuck, that you're, that you're mentally you're not in the right place. But what you need to look at is I feel these has, this has orange and yellows in, in it and I feel like it's how do you get yourself back on track? That you see that this is an obstacle here, right? That there is a snake there and so you're shining a light on it and you're looking at it head on and you're saying, okay, this didn't work out over here. I need to figure out how to get past this. And that's why you're this surrounded by the two of wands energy is that you're trying to make a decision. Do you want to stay in this energy or do you want to look at opportunities to move on from this? This results in, right, a major message here where you're growing and you're learning and you're letting go of this blue, of this frustration and how things didn't turn out but you're also coming into your own power because we have the emperor here which is somebody who is very strong and somebody who is very driven right there's a bridge there saying you're bridging the gap and that you're realizing that yes life has these challenges how do I face this challenge do I let it overcome me do I let it wear me down or do I 
get back on track and I, you know, it's that fire and that's passion and it's like that motivation and it's manifesting and it's like, okay, I've got to really dig in here and I've got to, I've got to move forward. I feel that there is an opportunity that is coming in for you and I feel that this is something that you really need to take a good look at. All right, so let's get some, I'm kind of thinking of these. So let's get some more cards for this, what you're struggling with. Chariot. Again, a major card. I love it. Um, uh, cancer sign. Lots of people around you. And I almost feel like, are there so many people around you that you're almost feeling clouded and that you can't find your way because everybody's trying to put their two cents in around you? And that you can't even find your own direction, right? Because you're surrounded by all of these things. I love it. Here's the emperor again. There could be an Aries that is sticking out to you, right? There could be an Aries um, that is kind of making a presence around you or somebody that you revere, somebody that you admire, somebody that has kind of been through your struggles that you feel that you can relate to and that person is sticking out to you. So I almost feel like it's following the guidance of that person that you feel sticks out to you, that you're drawn to. Um, I feel that this is a very powerful and a very knowledgeable person. Um, and I feel like you can learn a lot from that person. Yeah, definitely. You can learn a lot from that person. And having that communication with that person, I feel like this person may step up to the plate to you, right? That this, this person may be approaching you. I feel like you have a lot of people around you, but I feel like there's one person that's kind of making their presence known and I and I feel like that's the person that you can learn a lot from. I feel that because you have this association with this person and this this person also I feel like helps you to get on your path to your nine of cups and I feel this person also starts to ignite your fire and uh, ignite your passion and you start to feel the energy of wanting to make things happen, right? That you're, you're getting yourself back on track. Um, again, I'm feeling a lot of oranges and a lot of reds here. Um, but I feel like this person here is the key that helps you. Oh, and look at that. And here we have the judgment. I love it because the judgment card has come out again. Over here, it was reversed because you weren't seeing the message, because you were too caught up in your, your head. You lost your guidance. You weren't sure why something happened. You didn't hear the message over here. But over here, you're, you're looking at the message. You're looking at what's going on. You're fighting for what you believe in. You're surrounding yourself. There's a lot of people around you, but you're surrounding yourself. You're focusing on the people or the, the situations that, that you help you're narrowing it down to the people that you feel can guide you. You're finally able to see the message. And look at this. We have a lot of repeating energies here. So I almost feel like it might be like this karmic thing where there's patterns that keep repeating and that you feel like you keep trying to do the same thing, but you, you weren't getting any results. But this time around, the emperor is the one that shifts the energy, right? That shows you the path that gives you that direction. Seven of Wands. Let's see. And then, I feel like this is something that you have to stand up for. This is something that you have to fight for. This is not something that is going to be handed to you on a silver platter. Whatever this situation, this message that's trying to get through to you, that this is something that you have to fight for, but I also feel like when this nine of cups comes in for you, right? And this fulfillment and this happiness and this direction comes in for you. I feel that it's so much more rewarding for you because you fought for it. That you struggled for it. That you had your ups and downs. You feel like you lost your way. You feel like you lost your direction. But yet you were able to hang in there and you were able to 
sort through what you needed to in order to be guided and directed and to follow the path, the right path that was for you. I love this because we have the Emperor, we have the Nine of Cups on this side and we have the Nine of Pentacles. We have two Nines on either side of the Emperor. And I feel like it's, I don't have my numerology book. I don't know where it is. I wish I knew what nine meant. Um, but I definitely feel that that has something to do with it. The two nines on either side. And the two nines are here because the other nines is the nine of swords and the nine of wands. So I feel like you have the two nines that are positive, right? Because you have the nine of cups and the nine of pentacles. This is your emotions. And this is... Um, this is your mental and this is your physical, right? Because the pentacles can represent your physical. But I feel like you become stronger. And then that turns into the ace of wands. For some reason, I feel like this card wants... Look at that. We have the nine of wands. So we have another nine. But I feel that that means hang in there, right? I feel like that's kind of the energy and then the bottom of the deck is, is the two of pentacles fi finding that balance. But I feel that it's hanging in there to hang in there and to, again, look at those people that you have around you or that information or those things that you have around you that can help to guide you and to sort through. Because like I said before, I feel like you have a lot of energy that's around you. I feel like you have a lot of things that are kind of coming at you and kind of confusing you. Definitely you need to take that time to yourself to sort things out, to see what the challenge is, and then to take action on it. I And like I said before, I feel that there's someone around you that is trying to help you, that is trying to step up to the plate. And I feel like that person can definitely help you. All right, we have mending, mending. I almost feel like it's it's mending yourself because here there's this strong color of blue here and I feel like it's this, I feel cloudiness, I feel sadness, I feel, you know, this sense of loss, this grouping here. But mending, I feel like it has to do with mending yourself. Could be, my first thought was, mending a relationship that you have possibly with an Aries or somebody that you feel is a, was a mentor to you or somebody that I feel has taught you a lot and knows a lot and that you may have to mend that relationship to work on that relationship because maybe the two of you have had a falling out. We have door to romance, which is again, which I feel represented, um, that relationship that may needs to be mended, that there's a relationship around you that needs to be mended. And then we have strategy, which I like that because I feel like that represents, once you mend this, then you're able to move forward with your plan on where you wanna go from here, right? Again, that two of wands, it's that taking those steps. Sometimes in order to get right to one place that you want to have this strategy that you kind of have to go back and do these other steps which is this mending right that you have to mend something first before you can move forward like you can't skip a step and this is the step that you can't skip is the mending sometimes we want to get get there the quick way and we want to skip steps, but in order, but when we skip those steps, we're leaving out important steps and it, it doesn't give us the full results that we want, right? It doesn't give us the full nine of cups. You're heading towards your nine of cups. I have no doubt about that is you're heading towards that because you're seeing these things that you have to work on and you're not skipping steps this time that you're not going over things or not doing things like you're checking all of the boxes and that in itself is its own strategy. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.